I am speaking to all of you, apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, and evangelists. Some of you who are called by me, and some who are appointed by men. I tell you now, because you are in position of leadership, you will receive a stricter judgment. This includes any one of you who have an internet ministry. Do not take your positions lightly. Listen and pay attention to what the Almighty Lord God of heaven and earth is saying. You are to speak or write every word in the fear of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Do nothing out of the fear of man or the enemy. I want you to tell my people the truth about their sin, and I want you to hear the truth about your own. Most of them and most of you are not ready for my return. Your garments are filthy with stains of sin, and your lamps have gone out, because you have gone out whoring after idols. Here are some of them, love of wealth, unworldly power, prestige, pride, lust, greed, manipulation, hatred, loftiness, snobbery, bigotry, and my love is not overflowing from your heart. Come before me with a humble and contrite heart, and let my Holy Spirit show you the specific sins that you need to let go of. He who sins willfully and habitually is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the work of the devil, which is sin. All that love their sin will be destroyed if they do not repent. My grace, mercy, and love is not so that you may remain in sin. It is so that you may have any chance at all. I am faithful and just to forgive your sin if you have determined in your heart that you want to be done with your sins and repent. My spirit will give you the power to overcome sin. If you keep pressing into me, and pressing on towards the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And what is that goal? It is to be holy as I am holy, to conform to my image, to be me on this earth, for you are my body and I am the head. There is no way that you can totally obtain this goal in this realm. Yet you must continue to press towards it, for as you do this, you press in closer to me. Intimacy with me through praise, worship, and stillness at my feet, listening to the voice of my spirit, is where you will find the strength to do this. You will be changed evermore into my likeness until you see me as I am and then you'll be like me. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised, incorruptible, and you shall be changed. The dead in Christ shall rise first, and then you will do the final work of the harvest, as my glory will cover you, and you will shine for me and all people who are of me will be drawn to you, but those that are not of me will run and hide in fear. Demons and fallen angels will flee at your presence, for they cannot stand my glory light, for they love darkness. For those that are of the evil one, my glory burns and is very painful. 
This is why they run and hide. I tell you the truth. I am giving a warning and it may be your last. The light of my glory reveals all that is hidden in the heart. When my glory comes, it will expose all sin and it will be painful to those who love their sin. My glory burns like a consuming fire. This is why they run and hide. For the ones that are of me, my glory is very pleasurable. If you had been spending intimate time with me every day, humbling yourselves in worship on your faces, in repentance with tears, and travail over your sin and the sin of those given to you, I would not have to speak these harsh words to you. If you would let me cleanse your hearts with the washing of the water, my word, I would not have to use a blowtorch. The fire of great tribulation and persecution will refine you if you do not heed my words. Yes, crucifixion of the flesh is painful, but it's not as painful as what will happen to you if you continue in disobedience. I have told you to walk in the Spirit, and you will not gratify the lusts of the flesh. Yet you deny yourself no pleasure of this world. It is not wrong to have pleasure in this world, but it cannot be your driving force. My Spirit must be. The only way you have your best life now is by living breathing and bathing in my Holy Spirit. I have told you that I want your services to flow free with my Holy Spirit leading, but you follow your own schedule. I am speaking to the singers and musicians also. Are you not supposed to lead my people into corporate worship of me? You play song lists but you don't ever enter into the Holy of Holies, where my manifest presence is. If you would only press in with all of your heart, you would get there. When you enter the Holy of Holies, miracles abound and nothing is withheld from you, for it is heaven come to earth. <laughs>